know this sounds simple, but when I posted this question on my Instagram account, a bunch of you still were confused. How do you convert decimals into fractions? That's what we're going to talk about today. Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para manotify kayo kapag may bago ng ready na upload. This is kind of a revamp ng older topic na pinag-usapan ko na before or pinag-usapan na natin before. Uh, I already talked about fashion evolution at yung tawag ko dito. Pero since marami pa rin ang naguguluhan, Sabi ko mukhang kailangan ng deep dive, kaya natin pag-uusapan specifically yung decimals to fractions sa video na ito. In order for me to explain better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, ito yung discussion natin on fraction evolution. This is part 1. We're going to turn decimals into fractions. Now, did you know that 1 fourth is equal to 0.25, which in percentage form naman ay equal sa 25%? Yan yung reason kung bakit if you have a copy of the workbook I made, you would see doon sa ating exercise entitled Fraction Evolution. Ganito yung format ng mga questions na nandun. Ang idea doon is for you to be more at ease when it comes to yung terms. So, ibig sabihin ko, nakakita kayo ng decimal, hindi kayo natatakot kasi fraction lang naman siya. Nakakita kayo ng fraction, okay lang kasi decimal lang din naman siya. But the thing is, uh, after a few years of doing this, na-realize ko, marami pala yung hindi pa talaga nila gamay kung paano mag-convert. And when I made the first video lesson on fraction evolution, Hindi ko siya masyadong specify kasi akala ko parang ay alam niyo na yan inassume ko na alam ng lahat pero since marami sa atin ang nakalimutan na yon babalikan natin iisa-isahin natin siya okay now let's take this example point 12 this is a decimal and sometimes sa exam civil service opcat bibigyan nila yung sagot pero iba ang form so for example point 12 ang sagot Pero fraction form yung binigay sa options. How do you know kung ano itsura niya kung magiging fraction siya? Paano mo siya i-evolve? Or kung may word problem, tas gusto niyo na, na fraction ang gamitin instead of decimals, what do you do? Now, step one, you have to turn this into the numerator. Now, sabi natin, ang numerator ay yung nasa taas. So, yung point 12, lalagay lang natin siya sa taas ng fraction. Okay? So, tandaan again, kung ano man yun, lagay niyo lang siya sa taas. And then, step two, you write 1 as the denominator. Lagi niyo lang 1. Okay? 1 muna. Now, after 1, next na step would be to count the decimal places and add equivalent amount of zeros to the denominator. So, ibig sabihin, kung ilan yung decimal places ito, you have 1, 2, para maging 12 siya, magdadagdag ngayon ako ng dalawang zero. 1, 2. Okay, ulitin ko yan, ha? Dahil, in order for this to be a whole number, kailangan kong gumalaw na dalawang beses. 1, 2, para maging 12 siya, magdadagdag ako ng dalawang zero sa ilalim. 1, 2. So, kung ilan yung decimal places, yun yung dami ng zero. So, ang tong fraction na to, mangyayari magiging 12 over 100. Now, hindi pa doon natatapos kadalasan, you have to reduce it to the smallest terms. And if you haven't seen the video on smallest terms yet, inilink ko na lang din dito sa taas. Okay? Basically, gagawin mo, ito-turn mo to into its smallest terms, maghahanap ka ng pareho niyang factor. So, in this case, pareho silang divisible sa 2, kahit 2 muna, isa-isahin natin. Okay? Actually, you can look at it and know na 4. Pero may mga techniques kasi ng factoring, no? May video na rin ako niyan. Hanapin nyo na lang. Pero kung gusto nyo kasi at nasa-threaten kayo, pwede nyo isa-isahin na lang. Okay? So, divided by 2 muna, this will be 6 over 50. Tapos pareho namang even uli. Pwede ko siya ngayon i-divide uli sa 2. Tig 2 uli. So, this will be 3 over 25. Okay? At dahil hindi ko na pwede yan ang bawasan, dahil hindi naman siya divisible sa 3 or any number na pareho sila, the answer would be 3 over 25. Now, kung alam ninyo yung mga factors ninyo, mas familiar sa inyo, pwede nyo yung diretsyo na divided by 4. Divided by 4, ang lalabas agad is 3, point, 3 over 25. Okay? So, again, depende na yan sa inyo. Now, ito lang yung suggestion ko. Kung kunyari, hindi nyo agad naisip na divisible siya sa by, by 4, pwede nyo namang ito muna. Okay? Wala namang rules. 
Liitan nyo lang na liitan hanggang umabot kayo sa smallest terms. Okay? Lalo na pag namamadali kayo sa exam. Kasi yung iba, naghahanap pa lang nung greatest common factor, na ubus na yung time. Okay? So, kung gusto niyo check nyo muna. Even ba? Two muna. Two. Tapos, hanggang maubos sila. Okay? So, the answer would be three over twenty-five. Okay? Now, paano naman kung may whole number siya? Okay? Pag may whole number siya, honestly, pwede mo kasing gawin na twenty-five. Same thing. Okay? Turn it into a numerator. So, pwede mong gawin twenty-five over. And then, step number two, write one as the denominator. Step number three, bilangin mo yung decimal places. Okay, so one, maglalagay ka lang ng, te, ng zero dyan kasi isa lang yung decimal na place. So isang zero lang nadagdag ko. Tapos reduce to lowest terms. Pero ako, ang ginagawa ko, pag may nakita kong whole number, sinusulat ko na agad, two. Okay? Tapos yung point five na lang yung ginagawa kong fraction. So five over ten. Okay, kasi again, 0.5, lalagay mo lang siya, tapos igagalaw mo isang beses, 10. So, 2 and 5 over 10, ito, pwede ko pa siya i smallest terms, bidi-divide ko siya pareho sa 5, kasi pwede, so ang lalabas, 1 half. So, the answer would be 2 and 1 half. Okay? Just so, nabawasan na siya ng iisipin ko. Kasi kung dito, dito ko siya kukunin, makukuha ko 5 over 2, kasi didivide ko siya pareho sa 5, Kaya lang, ano pa siya? Improper fraction, imimix number ko pa siya. So, ang ginagawa ko, automatic, kukunin ko na yun agad. Yung whole number, kukunin ko na siya agad. Itatabi ko na siya. Okay? Now, it's your turn. Before tayo mag-proceed sa quick quiz, iba pa to, I just want you to practice muna bago tayo mag-dive into yung quick quiz. Okay? So, I'm going to give you just a quick minute for this. Hopefully, makuha niyo And then, yung quick quiz later. Alright? And your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, so again, same steps ang gagawin natin. Now, yung suggestion ko kanina, di ba, itabi na natin yan. So, definitely, final answer nyo, may 1 na agad. Tapos, instead of going through uh, 1,008 over 1,000, ang gagawin ko na lang yung 008. Okay, kalimutan na natin yan. Naitabi na natin yan eh. Over, that's 1. Decimal place, 1, 2, 3. So, magdalagdag ko ng tatlong 0, 1, 2, 3. So, 8 over 1,000. Pareho ko silang pwede i-divide sa 2. Magiging 4 ito. Pag dinivide ko to sa 2, magiging 500. Pwede pa uli sa 2. Pag dinivide ko siya sa 2, lalabas 2. Ito, pag dinivide ko siya sa 2, magiging 250. Now, yung 2 over 250, pwede pa uli nga sa 2. So, this will be 1 over, tapos ito, divided by 2 would be 125. So, the answer would be 1 and 1 over 125. Okay? Now, again, kung gusto niyo na i-divide na agad to sa 2, uh, sa 4, pwede naman yun. Okay? Hindi naman, hindi naman bawal. Kaya lang yun nga, again, if you want na isa-isahin dahil hindi tayo magaling maghanap ng common factor, pwede rin naman. Okay? Alright, now it's time for your quick quiz. Tingnan natin if you can answer this really quickly. So, I'm going to give you three questions and I'm going to give you uh, four minutes. Okay, four minutes kasi one of them or two of them may be a little trickier for you guys na mag smallest terms. So, after the four minutes, I'm going to explain the correct answers and your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. So number one muna, point 22. So again, ang gagawin lang natin is we're going to turn this into the numerator. Add one, ilan ang decimal place? One, two, so dalawang zero. You have 22 over 100. And again, magka-cancel-cancel lang tayo. Pwede siya sa two, so this will be 11. Divide lang natin sa two pareho. And then, 100 divided by 2 is 50. Tapos, ang 11 over 50, wala naman na ako maisa smallest term. So, na yun, yun na yung final answer. The answer is 11 over 50. Okay? Sana tama kayo dyan. Okay? Number 2, 3.26. Again, itabi na natin agad yung 3. Whole number na agad siya. So, hindi na natin siya ngayon iisipin. Yung 26 na lang. Tapos, over natin siya sa 1. Tapos, ang decimal place, 1, 2, dalawang 0, 1, 2. 26 over 100, i-reduce lang natin siya. So, pwede sa 2. Okay, kung hindi divide ko siya sa 2, ang lalabas dito is 13 over 50. Uh, wala naman na akong may divide sa 13 tsaka sa 59 common. So, the final answer becomes 3 and 13 over 50. Ayan. I hope tama rin kayo dyan. Okay? Now, yung number 3. Ito, medyo mas malaki yung number, no? Mas mahaba siya. But, don't be threatened. Again, same thing. Itatabi na natin yung 1. Doon na siya sa final answer. May 1 ka na agad. Okay. Tapos ngayon, iisa-isa na natin to So, 102. Over na yan. Huwag natin to isipin. 1. Tapos tatlong decimal place kasi. 1, 2, 3. So, tatlong zero ang dadagdag natin. 1, 2, 3. 102 over 1,000. Again, pwede i-divide sa 2 pareho. Okay. So, pag divide ko siya sa 2, lalabas 51 over 500. Dinivide ko lang yan sa 2 ha. Okay. Now, yung 51 over 500, isipin ko, pwede ko pa ba siya yung lowest terms? Ngayon, yung 51, pwede siya sa 3. Pero yung 500, kasi hindi pwede sa 3. Hindi naman na pwede sa 4 or 2 or anything. So, i-stick na lang natin yun. 1 and 51 over 500. That becomes your answer. Okay. Alright, so I hope uh, you also follow me on Instagram because I will be posting quick questions regarding this topic this week para lang ma-practice ninyo yung natutunan ninyo. So follow me at Laika Maravilla if you don't yet para uh, ma-catch ninyo yun at sana marami sa inyo ang makatama. Alright? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Sana ako mag-exam din sila para sa rami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information on my reviewers, the review events, the online review program, at yung iba pang mga bagay na pwede kayo mag interested in. Thanks guys, and uh, if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell icon. Yung susunod naman natin na Math Monday's video will be all about converting fractions into decimals. So kung ayaw nyo yung mamiss, don't forget to hit that bell. And as always, as we always say, this a team, never stop learning. Aja aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you on my next video and bye for now.